greetings, infinite blessings, and welcome to another moment of now, now being the only time that ever exists. And as I always say, today may not be the best day ever, this very moment, this moment of now, might not be the best moment ever, but you can make it the best possible. It's all the intention of your mind, the thoughts you have, which then lead to the actions you take. And a single seed of positivity, of optimism, a single seed of change planted within the mind can germinate and grow into a whole new life that you would never have believed possible if it was not for making that small change. If you look at a place in time, imagine your life as a journey, which it is. Isn't it beautiful? Where you are now is a result of every single step that you have taken to bring you to this moment. The sum of all experiences is what has created you and your perception of reality at present. If you drew a line in the sand from where you are to the past and then from where you are now in the same direction going forwards, you will end up at a certain destination, knowing that everything is energy vibrating at different frequencies and it does so in waveform. Everything is a mathematical equation if you change just a slight, even 0.1 of a degree, over a centimetre or even a metre, it won't make much difference to where you end up. But over an entire lifetime, it will take you to a completely different destination. It's those tiny, tiny changes that make the world of difference. So, hey Josie, how are you all? What's well, good? What is happening? Or what should I say are you creating? Kathleen, how are you? Good to see you, beautiful. It's a very, very interesting time as always. My experience the last few weeks has been, again, almost like a sum of the whole collective. Very changeable, very interesting, very enjoyable. Surfing those waves, the ups and downs, as opposed to going under. Because having gone under in the past, I know that if we do allow for the pressures of life to take us under, that the waves will just beat and beat and beat upon us to the point that we surrender. And then once we do accept and surrender, we are free once again. So... A beautiful, beautiful imagery that I got in relation to learnings and healings, the inner journey that we all take. Let's relate it for a moment to a computer game, this experience we call life. Each level, each learning, each time that we raise our baseline frequency is like completing a level there's certain learnings yes learn to swim underwater yes but then we do not surrender to it so in the imagery i got each room each level is like being in a room and we enter into a new level we have a new breakthrough and everything is expansive and free and uplifting you feel liberated and just the smallest smallest things seem to resonate and reflect so deeply within. Watching the light shimmer off a raindrop in a single blade of grass, mesmerised and captivated for hours. Those are the moments. That is what it is all about. And that is likened to stepping into the next level that first moment in the new experience, in the new room. And after a period of time, 
things start to change and the room starts to fill up with water and over time it fills and fills and fills and we get to a point where it's up to our knees up to our waist up to our chest and then we actually have to start treading water and that is the point in all of our journeys where we feel that we're a bit stuck that we're not really going anywhere we're treading water staying afloat so as not to go under and this is the interesting part to it though if we actually surrender then we complete that level and we move to the next stage as it were most people will wait until the room is fully completely full of water till you take that last breath and you're submerged and you have no alternative but to breathe in the water to drown to surrender to it to believe yourself to be no longer let's say and then oh i'm in the next room look at this and it could be a life an entire life it could be a life within a life because i know that i've lived several lives within this life let alone all the previous ones that i've experienced so it's the surrenderance and acceptance and in truth we don't have to wait till that room is full of water that we've been treading water and trying to stay afloat for so long and we take that last breath when there is no more air to breathe then we surrender we could as soon as the room starts to fill with water realize the learnings that are there within that room breathe in the water and move on to the next level the next room but at the same time what's the point in playing a game just to complete it every game that i've always played has been for the enjoyment of it for the enrichment that the game brings for the experience of it knowing that it doesn't matter where we are or where we're going it's the journey to be enjoyed that is what we are here to experience and the quicker we race through life trying to get from one place to the next the more of a blur it all is and we just miss it and then we think oh what happened there and in truth that is what this year has been a bit like for me each day has kind of merged and mingled into the next and that is partly because of external situations and then again i know that it is all internally projected so again what seeds of intention are you planting where are you shining your light and growing this came to me last night conspiracy theories are obviously very very accessible these days i use conspiracy bunny rabbit ears just information again so all any of it is information and if it resonates and passes through your lenses of perception your filters then you believe it to be true if it doesn't then you don't it's that simple somebody sharing something that is repressive and low frequency they do it in order to inform people around them that there is something drastic going on we need to look over there there's something really bad over there everybody look over there because we need to know what's going on over there okay great we now, we now we know okay good can we change it no okay so let's focus back on what we can change and grow that herein lies the trouble young minds that have no understanding of information that is accessible to all of us don't need to be told fearful and low frequency situations if you tell a child that they are in danger then they will constantly be in that state of anxiety ready to fight or flight to tell a child that you miss them when they are not with you 
is only going to create feelings of separation, a feeling of missing. Once we open a door, we are then aware of that door and what is behind it. It doesn't mean that we have to continue to go through it, but we are aware that it is there. And if there is a situation that reflects or resonates with the previous situation that resulted in that door being opened, then the mind will naturally go and open that door. So what I'm trying or attempting to say here is the information that we share between each other and what we focus upon and grow within the individual as well as the collective is incredibly, incredibly important. Yes, there are forces of darkness that wish to control us through fear, separation, isolation from the self and those around us. But focusing upon the fact that they seek to control us or a feeling that they are controlling us, that we are helpless to the will of their might means that we have placed ourselves exactly where they intended us to be. To stand proud, freely, and live your life through your own will is the reverse of what they want. The more that we become free, the more fearful they become. So again, the truth is the darkness is scared of the light because to the darkness, light is the end of its very existence and to the light, darkness is just somewhere to shine upon. Hmm, beautiful. Our own. Ah, I, the collective, never the individual. Me, we, thy, they, them, our. Hmm. I am you, as you are me. We are all that was, whatever shall be. Universal energy, dancing rhythm rhythmically, majestically and playfully in this beautiful experience that we call life. And even scientifically, they, us, them, we, I, you, they cannot deny that this is right. Beautiful. So, what seeds are we planting? And what is it that we are focusing our light of attention upon and growing? And I say this, having been very, very focused on things taking place around me, very close to home, that I felt very personally, passionately about. And the more egoically we are attached to something, the more that that thing or that person has an effect on us. The old expression, getting upset or angry at another person or their behavior is like drinking poison and expecting it to affect them. It only kills the self. It only hurts the self. People are people. Monkeys climb trees, fish swim in the sea. If you blame a monkey for climbing a tree or a fish for swimming in the sea, then you are the fool. And if you expect a fish to be able to climb a tree, then again, you're only setting yourself up to experience pain and suffering. And to judge a monkey or a fish for their ability to climb a tree, again, you've started with the complete wrong perception or expectation of what is to be experienced. Everything in life is just an experience. That's all it is. It's like a school trip. We're here to experience, to collect information, to collect data, and we turn it back to school together so that we can correlate the information. I can share mine with you and you with me. 
so that we can actually grow together. And the further that we go down this path that we are all currently walking upon, that we are co-creating whilst experiencing, the more controlled and monitored we will become. That is why there are many of us that are creating our own platforms so that we have the freedom of expression and connection. The portal being our community chat platform upon the Ambassadors of Light website. And on there, as I said before, it gives people an opportunity to share, to be true to themselves and express themselves freely, as well as actually meet like-minded people on all stages of their journey, of our journey, of our collective journey. A multitude of online workshops, trainings, free courses, and lives. We're going to start doing weekly lives, group sessions, guided meditations, and we're at a point now where we're actually asking for people to join to co-host, to be part of the creation and distribution of it all, so that we can reach as many people as possible with that underlying frequency of love being infused into everything we do and the message that we are delivering as far and wide as possible. Again, doing so for one reason, and one reason only. Because we can. That's it. I was caught up in having to do, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this healing, I have to do this expansion, and this creation, and this distribution, and these connects, and this course needs to be finished and re-edited and analysed and gone over from three or four different perspectives to make sure every single minute detail is perfect. And then I'm like, hang on a minute. I'm good enough. It's good enough. You're good enough already. There's nothing that needs to be done. Because in truth, We've already won. Whatever path we take, whatever route, all rivers lead back to the ocean. The goodies always win. It's written in the stars. It's fated. And yes, fate does exist. You do have a particular destiny but you are fated to the potential of, exper of infinite experiences. You are fated to the potential of infinite. You are fated to go any direction of your choosing. Eventually, all leading back to completion, unity one, consciousness, enlightenment, if you like, a state of nirvana, to no longer return to this incarnation physical realm or any feeling or experience of separation to be the wind blowing through the trees as well as the trees as well as the leaves to be all these things and nothing at all and I will say as a personal reflection the closer that we get to that feeling of completion, the connection to everything else and nothing else, the more disconnected from this earthly realm we become. And the more almost insane that the mind will believe itself to be. And if you look back at all greats throughout history, all great mathematicians, artists, inventors, Hmm, nice to see you. They're all a little bit mental. And I was thinking the other day that actually all I really want to do is go live in the woods. And I actually went on a little journey within the mind because it's all only ever experienced in the mind. There's something that I wanted to do that I will do 
because I want to, so I can because I am, is to go to, and we went there tonight actually, to a beautiful river, and strip off naked and go and run into the mud and just roll around in the mud and lie there covered in this beautiful, thick, silty mud as though I am planting myself back into the earth to be reborn once again. Born moment after moment afresh, dying each night to awaken, reborn again the next day, forgetting what I thought that I once knew to make space for the new. Hmm. So as always, thank you, truly, Thank you for being here, for being part of my journey as I am part of yours, and most importantly, for being you. Because without you, the universe would be incomplete. And in truth, without you, the universe would not actually exist because you would not be here to experience any of it. So you then are the most important person, the most important being that has whatever shall live. Full moon, blessings indeed. We went down to Orwell Country Park and had a beautiful walk, howled at the moon. And I am going to, crystals are out, charging. And I'm going to go out and do a little ritual in a moment. May even be that I do. I do. There's a there's a very there's part of me that's yearning to to go and get naked and just connect to the earth, just lie bare skin to skin, as it were, like we do with babies when they are born, and just go and lie and roll around in the mud. So again, well, that's what I'm going to do because I can, and why? Because I am. Oh, and there's the rain. So it looks like it's going to be a wet roll. Hmm, beautiful. Thank you. And anybody, please, if I can assist in any way, shape or form, just ask. And if you know anybody that suffers from any anxious tendencies, there is some very, very beautiful free online courses that we've created. anxiety freedom and then there is an energy mastery course or how to raise your vibration is the entry level course leading on to the energy mastery spiritual awakening and ascension again this is all on the website links all in the bio and all that good stuff but more importantly i just want to to reach and connect people to know how you are, what you're doing, what you're creating. And if I can offer even the tiniest, tiniest piece of inspiration or information or guidance or support, whatever it is, because the smallest act of kindness that we do can echo for eternity and connect to everybody around us. So as always, thank you. I love you. And I will see you very soon. <laughs> thank you thank you for who you are and all you continue to do thank you for continuing to gain the knowledge the wisdom for continuing to look within and doing the work required to bring freedom to not only yourself but everybody else as you continue to do the work as you continue to expand your consciousness and awareness, you continue the expansion and awareness of everybody else, helping others to break free from that limitation and illusion of old. Continue to support me in all I do. Continue to grow the movement and continue to grow yourself. <laughs>